Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial on what to take with you on your first shuttle launch. So you've just created your first small shuttle and are going to start exploring other planets. What should you take with you? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a solid fuel thruster to get you off planet and travel to other planets. And the second thing you're going to need is an oxygenator. So when you get to another planet, you're going to need some sort of oxygen away from uh, your shuttle. And the oxygenator is basically the best way to do that. The first two essential items that you want to take with you are an extra solid fuel thruster. This, in ca this is in case the one attached to your shuttle breaks. There have been countless times where either there's a bug or somebody miscounts how many uses their solid fuel thruster has and they get stuck on another planet and either have to restart their file entirely or rebuild an entire base from scratch just to get back to their original base. The second absolute must is either a beacon or a piece of quartz to make a beacon. So once you're off planet, there are no markers anymore. So the, your, your starting shelter has a marker, but no other landing zones have it. So there, are, there have been countless times where people have gone to a different planet, spent hours and hours setting up a base, went back to their starting base to, to, to get something, came back to their planet, and they couldn't find their base because there was no beacon to let them know where they landed. So a beacon is a must, and what I like to do is put quartz in my inventory and set my backpack printer to be beacon, so it just comes down here, and the second I land in a new place, I just print that into a beacon and place it down. If you're an experienced player or are just heading out to just grab something and come straight back, you're not intending to build your base at all, all you really need is tethers, just something so you can travel around without any issue and then if you're actually going to start building a base somewhere else here's my recommendation on what to take first you have a medium printer and a small platform B so you could put the medium printer on it we have three resin so that we can print a large platform with the medium printer and then two compound and an aluminum so we can create a soil centrifuge. We also have two full canisters of soil. This allows you to, once you have the soil centrifuge, to create any resources that may be missing from around your landing site. Uh, this gives you the start of being able to build basically any structures you need from the soil centrifuge or any existing resources. To start that off, you're going to need your initial source of power. So when you're building your soil centrifuge, or when you're printing your platform and soil centrifuge, you're going to need some power. And that's going to mean a small generator with some organic, extra organic. It's going to take more than one organic to print all that stuff. So you want to take a little extra organic along with you so that you have a little more power. I also like to take the inhibitor mod with me as well so that I can just collect organic from the planet I'm landing on without deforming the terrain. Once you actually have platforms together, you're going to need to power your base permanently. And that's where solar panels and wind turbines come into effect. So uh, pa packaged solar panels and packaged wind turbines are an efficient source of power for starting out your base. Um, depending on what planet you're going to, you may want to favor uh, solar panels or wind turbines, but just uh, for the most part, you can have a 50-50 mix of that to start with. And then once you really establish a base, you can start specifying exactly what types of power you want. Because this is your first shuttle launch, you're not going to have any lithium yet. So if you roam around on Silva, you may be able to find an existing small battery. That is incredibly useful to take with you as it gives you a power buffer 
not only when you're uh, in your initial phase, but after you've gotten some power in there, because there will be times when your medium solar and your wind turbines just don't have power, and then your just base is dead in the water unless you have a battery. So if you can find a small battery, that's great. It's not 100% necessary, but it is very helpful. And on any subsequent mission, once you've been able to create batteries, you want to bring batteries along as well. And finally, we have just quality of life items. So a work light so you can see and a small oxygen tank just to give you a little extra time off the tethers. So now that we have all the items we're going to take with us, how are we going to actually fit it into our shuttle? So with the small shuttle, there's really nothing you can attach. There's, there's just a space for your solid fuel thruster and a space for your oxygenator. The game wants you to put an oxygenator on there and take it with you. But you do not need oxygen when you're in the shuttle. You only need it once you reach your destination planet. So if you print a new oxygenator or package your existing one, you can put it on a medium storage and that will fit right in that space as well. This gives you an extra seven slots um, so you can put more materials on there and take them with you. And the final way to add more, add more resources to your small shuttle is with storage sensors and battery sensors. So these sensors stick to the outside of your shuttle and allow you to attach even more resources to them. Uh, each, each sensor will allow one T1 object to be attached to it. So you could, if you really, really want to, you can uh, stick a whole bunch of these all over your shuttlecraft and take a bunch of resources with you as well. So that is my recommendations for what to take with you on your first shuttle mission and how to pack them into your shuttle. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and thanks for watching.